You know, for about 15 years, I was the chairman of Asia's largest environmental consultancy. Um, you know, 22 offices in 12 countries. I started with this uh, small office in Hong Kong, and I grew it. Um, but um, around 2015, I 14 in fact, I decided that um, I had done everything I needed to do in environmental consulting, I, and I also decided that environmental consulting had certain limitations that didn't allow me to intellectually explore the big questions of our time. And for me, the big questions of our time around environment sustainability, economic transformation, uh, had too much been uh, too much been driven by a Western idea of progress and development and political uh, systems. And I feel that those things no longer applied. We in Asia were in danger of following a political ideology from the West that was past its sell-by date, and someone needed to start to challenge it. But uh, unless you live in Asia and you're Asian, you're probably not aware of how um, subservient Asians are to Western narratives. So Western narratives dominate, Western business schools, um, what I call bullshit or hubris, dominate in Asia. Western economists come and pretend to be gods here. And of course, Western politicians always tell us how to suck eggs. Uh, just watch TV. So it was time to get some kind of different narrative. This is not to deny the great progress and the advances in the West. This is not. But people oversimplify and think this is an anti-Western. This is uh, completely not the case. But it is very clear that if Asia apes the Western economic and political uh, models, uh, we will create catastrophic outcomes. Western thought leaders are afraid to think about this. And then coming back, and they're handcuffed, in my view, around the notion of free markets, democracy, the role of technology and capitalism. But if we look at the bad facts and think about it very differently, then we can explore new narratives. And I, my, the idea of the Institute, of which there are very few independent Pan-Asian Institutes, a lot of think tanks in Asia are essentially sort of, out, uh, out, um, sort of offshoots of Western think tanks. And all the think tanks and many think tanks in the West have, have shop here. You know, the German think tanks have shops here and the Americans. And one has to ask, ask, what on earth are they trying to do? Are they so convinced that their ideas are superior that they must uh, convince the most populated part of the world that their ideas are the ones that need to be adopted? They're not here to learn. They're here to teach.